I am going to be talking about a few topics, one of which is uh, my thoughts on TikTok. So um, let's get right to the video. So TikTok, right? Uh, TikTok is an app, if you don't know if you're living under a cave, it is a uh, social media app that has been around for a few years now and it's relatively new. People are still discovering um, the app and the different ways they can be creative on it, the kind of content they can make, and people are starting to get recognized on TikTok. Uh, TikTok uh, advertisers are starting to notice the traction and they're uh, starting to, you know, endorse people on TikTok. Even if I might say more than Instagram and Facebook, the people are shifting towards this app and it's very, very noticeable, right? Especially uh, during the quarantine and the last few uh, months I would say so uh, what are my thoughts on this app um, first of all I would have to say that when the app first came out I, I don't know how old I was like it probably came out like five or six years ago I'm not sure it was it was musically at first and I did not know about musically but um, yeah when it was TikTok I uh, first of all, I knew about it because of all of the memes and how everyone was making fun of TikTokers and uh, the fact that TikTok is just a place where people, uh, attractive people dance <laughs> and that's all that it was or people would say that's all it was. So I had a preconceived notion that TikTok is just, just kind of lame, you know? Like I, I, just, I just did not get the appeal of it because uh, we already have Instagram, we already have Facebook. So what, like, what is this app going to offer? But uh, slowly but surely, this app has taken over a huge, uh, it's just become this huge platform and people are just, it gets a lot of traffic now and I think almost everyone goes into TikTok at least once or twice a day or maybe like at least once a week, right? If I generalize it like that. So. There is no denying that TikTok is here and it's here to stay. It's just, I, I initially thought it would be like Vine and it would just not last, but it doesn't seem like TikTok's gonna leave anytime soon. So uh, since, <laughs> since uh, we have to accept what TikTok is, right? And um, we should look at what it offers and what we can contribute towards it. And I'm talking about it as if I am someone understands all of this I sincerely I honestly don't but uh, I just have fun talking about stuff so this is just one of those things so just you know take it with a grain of salt um, yeah that's it uh, so TikTok my thoughts on it are uh, first of all as I said I used to think that it was a very cringy app I thought it was for people who did not <laughs> just, I mean am I just completely out base here I don't know but uh, everyone around me used to call it really uh, cringy and if I use the banal word everyone would say it on a cat and um, you know uh, I, I guess like it, they, they weren't completely off base because there were people who were making content that just did not really make any sense uh, they would make skits right that were just overly dramatic and the storylines wouldn't really make much sense so uh i guess since last year i started to see better content on tiktok and it was through um it was through facebook that i was introduced to the good kind of content on tiktok right so uh i started to see a shift you know i started to see really 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 funny videos on tiktok through Facebook or in an, on Instagram, people would take those stories and uh, take the uh, take screen recordings and share them on stories. And slowly, I started thinking, okay, this app does look interesting. And then people around me started making TikToks, and celebrities are oh, at the minute they found out that oh, this app has traction, like they obviously went there. And uh, I feel like TikTok at this point in like 2021, like mid 2021 right now tiktok is at a point where it gets more traction than instagram and facebook i think and i'm not counting snapchat but uh instagram and facebook is like main social media platforms and not twitter just facebook and instagram feel more similar to tiktok right so i'm i'm guessing like it gets more traction than these apps so yeah i am thoroughly impressed and the quality of content is also 
just rapidly getting better. TikTok is becoming more informative, it's becoming more educational, it's becoming more entertaining. People are just more creative people are getting onto the app and making skits, just comedy skits, you know. And um, there's less, uh, I, I have less exposure to the just kind of weird and dramatic and just like not appropriate content anymore because I'm, I've am i started to follow better uh, content creators and better as in like my personal opinion, all right? But yeah, overall better uh, content creators and uh, so the algorithm is just really great. So it's picking that up and it's showing me more content that I am um, likely to watch. And so I think that is just like fantastic. Right? So my thoughts on TikTok have vastly changed. Even a few months ago, I would be saying, oh my god, ew, TikTok, like, oh my god, what, what do people make these videos? Why are people on TikTok? But um, since the last few months, I just, my opinion has drastically changed about it. And yeah, I think a uh, part of that is due to a YouTuber that I follow. His name is Curtis Connor, and I love Curtis for some reason. Like I just, I just like his calming personality and his video. His humor is pretty different than other people's. It's not like very on point humor, but I like the way he talks, and I like the way uh, he makes uh, he. You know, he makes certain points, and uh, I just, I, I think like he's just a YouTuber I genuinely like. So I was watching a video of his and he was talking about how uh, he started to like TikTok also and then he made a few videos. So from there I was directed towards TikTok, right? And when I downloaded it, I obviously am here in Bangladesh so uh, I got content related to here and I was so surprised to find out that it the, uh, the content is actually just top notch. It's great. It's funny. It's informative. It's it's all sorts of things, right? So if I talk about TikTok anymore, I would say like the good points. I would say like yeah, it's it's very nice. It's a good. I feel like the app is making a difference now, and I feel like everyone is shifting towards this app. So that's pretty great. Now for the cons of this app why this app isn't still going to be the number one social media platform that I would choose to be on as a content creator or as just a viewer, as someone who consumes the media. So honestly, for me, um, I uh, care about my mental health and my attention span a lot, even though I'm always on social media. I know I'm a hypocrite when I'm saying but honestly, if I have to decide, I would say like um, I still care about my attention span. So um, for me, the app is not great. I feel very, um, I feel really scared when I think about the app because say it has amazing content creators on it and it's funny, it's informative, blah, blah, blah. Still, the app is designed to give you instant gratification and give you instant dopamine, dopamine releases with every single video that's not any longer than a minute or a minute and a half, I, I'm guessing. I don't know the actual length that you can actually make the videos of, but uh, I think the I think like people usually make one minute to like uh, 30 second videos and that is so scary because uh, the feed, uh, the For You page is designed, uh, that's I think the main feed, the For You page is designed in a way where uh, you can just constantly scroll through content after content and none of it is just, you know, none of it is writing, none of it is anything other than just short videos and the videos are not longer than one minute. So you're constantly going through one minute videos all the time and when you're watching it, so you watch a short video and you instantly get that gratification, that dopamine release and then you go on to the next one and the next one and the next one. So even if you're thinking like, oh, okay, I'm just like not wasting too much time. I'm watching really short videos. You're actually wasting a whole lot more time, energy and your attention than you would on a YouTube video or a Facebook video, I'm guessing. So, I mean, when you don't, when you are not aware of this, it can not seem like a big deal, 
but it's actually lowering your attention span so your brain is getting conditioned to and used to this short amount of content and just give, giving you the same dopamine release that you would get previously from a 30 minute video for example right and if if you get used to that it's going to be so much harder for you to get you uh, get work done in the real world where there is no instant gratification you have to get stuff done uh, by doing them properly in a long amount of time like things take time in the real world everything takes a lot of time and patience and hard work right and you might think hey it's this is just entertainment so like why are we comparing this to getting work done but actually your brain is being conditioned your brain is actually getting used to this instant gratification uh, process which is from Facebook to Instagram it's getting even shorter because you are getting used to a 30 second or one minute video and it's actually I believe it's more dangerous than uh, watch than just scrolling through Instagram and looking at pictures because what TikTok is doing is it's giving you the idea of watching a, a video which is like okay so for example this video is so informative I learned this oh actually I'm learning a lot from TikTok right but then you're scrolling and you keep scrolling and you spend five hours on it thinking you're just watching short videos but actually you watched a whole ton of content worth a lot of hours but you haven't retained proper information regarding anything there is no chance for you to get depth through tiktok content i believe because it's simply not long enough so for you to even delve into a topic it would at least take you a I don't know, five or six minutes at the very least. If you look at deep work, um, deep work insights like Cal Newport's uh, book, I think, or his ideology of uh, deep work, and just there's so much uh, research on this, right? So, from what I know, if you want to get into a certain flow of work, you at least need 15 to 20 minutes to get into the flow of something. And here you're watching one minute or 30 second minutes uh, 30 second uh, contents that are uh, tricking your brain into thinking you're actually watching a full-length thing and it's just really scary to think that once your brain gets conditioned to it your attention span gets way lowered and then when you even go to watch movies or something I'm pretty sure your brain gets bored really really fast and you just don't have the same kind of attention while reading books, watching uh, full-length movies, or you know, even maybe holding conversations. So I just find this entire thing really scary. And I know I might sound like an old person who's just you know hating on the new thing that the kids are doing, but just really, really think about it. I, as I said, I started this video saying that I actually do like TikTok, but um, I feel like we have to consider the scary parts of it and it actually does feel scary to me because if you condition your brain to this chances are it's going to reflect on to the rest of your life i mean the rest portion the other portions of your life where uh you 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 will have a lower attention span and that will make you overall uh, unhappier you know it, it's more likely to make you more depressed because think about it the rest of the world does not offer you instant gratification every every single second and uh, when your brain gets used to that and especially if you're on TikTok every day say for uh, five or six hours and um, if your brain is used to that the rest of the world is going to seem very mundane to you the rest of the tasks are going to seem mundane to you even other forms of entertainment won't seem as fun as TikTok is and I think that's just the really really scary thing about TikTok honestly and so now what, what, what can we do so personally what do I do right so I know about this because I'm very conscious about this that the videos are really really short and I've always been very scared about the effects of social media yeah, and what it does to our brain and how it has we're basically imprisoned we cannot escape social media 
Kenya anymore. As scary as that sounds, it's just a part of our life now. But what we can do is manage it, right? Even if a little bit. Even being conscious of the fact that this has this effect on me makes you, makes me or you pro less prone to be affected by it really badly. So now that, like, I mean, I, you always knew, but now that you're hearing me talk about it again, like, really consider, am I, how can I use TikTok in a way that it affects me the least, but I also get the fun out of it? Um, maybe consider that these videos are really, really short, and uh, they might condition you and make your attention span even lower. So maybe, you know, set a limit for yourself, set a goal, like, I'm going to watch uh, 30 minutes worth of videos on TikTok or I'm only going to watch like five or ten videos because that's what I do. I don't get into TikTok every day. I because I know once I get in I'll be in a loop of hey what's the next video? Hey what's the next video? It's just, just very unconsciously if I tap on the tap app and I'll just like you know videos are just gonna keep on uh this is another thing you don't even have to scroll I think the videos just automatically keep you know going and there is this part of your brain that's like uh, that's, that's uh, facing a FOMO, fear of missing out. You're thinking, okay, what's the next video about? Like, if I don't watch it, I'm not gonna know, right? So you're just going to be stuck in the app for hours and you're not going to get anything done and you're not going to get the actual entertainment value that you might get from full length movies or even 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to one hour YouTube videos. and. Hey, that's something to think about for you. Okay, so uh, I, 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 when I use the app, I usually do this. I usually watch five or seven videos, five to seven videos, or I, uh, I'll, I'll just set a time for myself. Like I'll just watch this for thirty minutes, and I do not log into this app every day. I know again, like the fear of missing out, where when you're thinking like, okay, everyone is on this app, and hey, I. What am I not watching? What am I not in? Like, what am I? I like, what am I missing? Right. So, um, to be in the loop, I obviously, yeah, you want to be in the loop. I obviously get it. So, just don't do it every day, or don't con don't let it condition you or your brain, because you know it actually has the power to do it. So, just use it responsibly. Use it very consciously, being conscious of the effects that it has. And um, yeah, I mean, if you're a content creator, make content on it. Like, it's it's super fun. It's super great. I think TikTok offers a wide variety of content, and it's it the algorithm is really great still now because the advertisers aren't all there yet. They're going to ruin it pretty soon. I'm pretty sure. But for now, it does support. Uh, actual content creators who have good stuff and the algorithm supports it and it sends it you know distributes it to people who actually want to see that stuff so i think that's great but if you are a consumer do use it responsibly do use it consciously because uh you don't want it to mess up your brain honestly so yeah i think that's that's what i think about tiktok for now i'm pretty sure advertisers are going to ruin it and just make it less fun <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's going to happen but for now tiktok is pretty great i would say a little scary but yeah pretty great um so jumping from tiktok um i would say what i think about instagram now so instagram has been one of my favorite apps for a really long time but instagram has given me a lot of insecurities over the years it's made me question my uh, existence <laughs> and um, but I still really like the app <laughs> so um, uh, I think what's happening is that I think Instagram is starting to notice uh, I think like Facebook Instagram they're all under the same umbrella right I think they are starting to notice that there's a huge traction over at TikTok and people are moving towards it like the same way it happened for Snapchat I feel like they're starting to notice that people are moving towards TikTok more so what I'm thinking is that they're going to start making Instagram more video oriented like TikTok and it probably will replace TikTok at one point or the other 
I think that's just like how I'm, that's what I'm sensing because I see a lot more video related stuff on TikTok, uh, on Instagram now and I feel like it's going to be less of a photo based app and it's going to shift towards the uh, video content creation uh, part. There's already, you know, IGTV, which is Instagram TV, which lets you upload up really long videos, full length videos, but I don't think people really, uh, really want concentrate on IGTV all that much so I'm interested I'm interested to see what they come up with to uh, to combat you know TikTok's uh, latest attraction so yeah that's interesting um, yeah so moving from TikTok to Instagram now let's talk about uh, YouTube for YouTube personally it's my most favorite social media platform and it has been for the last I think one or two years I don't know if I just said Instagram is my most favorite but I really do love Instagram but YouTube is uh, YouTube is incomparable because I don't know I've been watching YouTube ever since I got proper internet and I remember back when we had modems uh, I had the ground phone modem and uh, the internet was actually pretty slow and uh, the YouTube videos would buffer so much but uh, <laughs> I used to sit in front of my uh, computer, my PC and watch Jonas Brothers YouTube videos like Jonas Brothers uh, music videos right? and Taylor Swift music videos and then just random Eminem raps I just had the weirdest music taste but uh, I would watch these videos even though they would buffer and I would wait for it to load and then watch the entire thing and you know kids these days will never understand this but yeah I used to do that and ev just ever ever since I found out about YouTube it has been somewhere that I just go and consume content and it's just been one of my most favorite platforms if not the most favorite platform so why do uh, I want to talk about why I like YouTube so much uh, compared to any other platform so for Facebook Facebook is more like you know somewhere I go every day it's more like home if that makes sense okay this entire conversation about social media apps is making me realize how a huge chunk of my life is on the internet now and I guess that's scary, but I guess that's how it is. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, but Facebook is more like some place I'll just go on and just see people. And I use it for memes now. There's just an abundance of memes. And I find it funny. And uh, I also get updates about people's lives and everything. Instagram is somewhere where you just get to see best parts of people's lives and question your own existence at 3 a.m. or I don't know the middle of the day and yeah Instagram is kind of uh, daunting and haunting but uh, I've started to actively follow more uh, content creators uh, who make content re relating to art and architecture and I don't know music and stuff so it's less you know insecurity inducing if that is a word or a phrase so anyway so Instagram is that so Facebook Instagram what you get is people making content that's just you know pictures or videos that are just shorter and you uh, you just get to see highlights of people's lives etc etc why I like YouTube is because it is more about a person's personality so I think PewDiePie talked about this but YouTube showcases someone's personality you don't sh if you're an avid watcher of YouTube videos, right, you don't watch it just because of the content, but you watch it more because the content creator, the content creator's personality is very uh, attractive to you, or you just find them very interesting. Because that is the case for me. I, I, even if my favorite YouTubers make just you know average content, I will still watch it. I'll still like it because I genuinely like the person. Like for example, Curtis Connor, PewDiePie. Who else do I watch? I watch. Um, I don't watch Jack Uh So I don't watch gaming videos. I watch meme related videos or just you know internet controversial topics or just roasting. I like Cody Ko. I like Noel Miller. I like. Um, who else do I like? I, I used to like Lily Singh, but I don't like her anymore. She's just like, I don't find her relatable anymore. So, 
Um, yeah, so these are the people that I just gen generally follow. I, I do like Dylan's, Dylan, Dylan is in trouble. Dylan is not in trouble. I keep forgetting his name. But yeah, so see, I follow these YouTubers and I follow beauty YouTubers. I used to follow Michelle Pond and I follow a lot of other YouTubers. So um, most of them, if not all, I follow them because of their very interesting personality. I There was a time period when I used to watch uh, Anthony and the Smosh Brothers, I used to follow them, and then I used to follow the Try Guys. So you, you see a pattern here, right? I used to follow content creators rather than following their content. Their content is a big part of what made me like them, but once I started to like their personality, uh, it became more about me looking at what they're saying or talking about rather than the content as a whole. I don't know if this is making any sense, but this is how it is in my head. And um, yeah, uh, so oh, another woman, that, another girl, uh, woman, girl. <laughs> so another YouTuber that I really uh, used to admire, and I still do follow her, but I just don't watch her videos as much. Uh, but it's uh, Anna Akana. I don't know if, Anna Akana. I don't know if I pronounced her name right, but uh, I used to find her really interesting, and her videos are pretty great. So yeah. You know, oh, oh, I used to also watch um, Sean, uh, Shane Dawson. I used to watch Shane Dawson's conspiracy videos, and I mean, I didn't take them seriously, it was just funny. So, yeah, so you can see, like, uh, as I'm thinking, like, I'm just uh, remembering more and more names that I've been watching through the years, and that's, that's just basically what YouTube is. YouTube is more uh, more personality based, I would say, rather than uh, apps like Facebook or Instagram, where there are people putting up their personality in front of you, but you are more likely to not find out about their personality as much as you can on YouTube. And I, I really like that. I really like that about YouTube. And um, I like the fact that YouTube has longer videos like at least 10 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour two hours you know i like the fact that i have that much time to explore i mean the content creators have that much time to explore a certain topic and talk about it and really go into depth about uh, the topics you know so i just i really like that i really find that um you know, I find that I am attracted to that kind of content more. And yeah, that's just uh, the reason why I like YouTube more than uh, other platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. I feel like you can really go into depth about topics and the entertainment value is just much, much higher than, you know, other platforms. Like the content is more satisfying for, for me at least. I find it more entertaining. I feel like when I am done watching a YouTube video, I feel like I actually consumed proper entertainment and I feel like, okay, I am entertained and like I'm taking something away from this rather than, you know, TikTok or Instagram where it just nothing really sticks because you're not giving it enough time to let it stick. And uh, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, you're not giving it enough time to stick and you know it's just like it's just it feels like even the content is in a rush and yeah I just I feel like I've said content so many times I'm just going to move on to the next topic uh, so yeah but that's that's my thoughts on YouTube and why it's my favorite and my thoughts on TikTok also and a bit on Instagram and for Facebook I don't really have much to say other than like I, I just most people have kind of left Facebook like they're there but they're not there you know it's just a thing that exists I guess it's like a part of our lives now that we just it's just it's just there so I, I don't really have much to say about it. it it's full of advertisers now which I just really like when uh, this is why I did not like watching television at one point because it was so overly exposed with uh, ads 
and the same thing has happened to Facebook and I just, I do not like that. Um, speaking of ads, <laughs> I'm just going to do a great segue now. Okay, so speaking of ads, um, I would have to say there is one thing that I hate about certain content creators and I mean hate as in hate. I absolutely abhor this. I hate this. When certain content creators get sponsored by uh, brands or whatever, advertisers, and they put secret marketing messages in their content. And you might say, hey, that's really creative. I personally believe, I'm sorry, I'm so triggered. I personally believe that it's just so immoral and wrong to do this because, hey, most of us are smart enough to see through it. We're, we're clearly looking at your content and understanding like you're pushing this message or this ad through your content. Say it's a comedy skit, right? And you're putting just in one small part, you're just putting in the uh, brand message, but disguised under the, you know, under the video. And that really, really bothers me because, hey, dude, that's unfair. You don't get to do that because you, I don't know about Bangladesh's uh, policy on internet marketing, but I, I know that it's not really allowed abroad, I think. I think you have to mention ads in your video like hey this is an ad i am not pushing this towards you i am actually just because i like it but i'm pushing this towards you because i got paid for it someone paid me to send this message across to you and it's not my own content or preference it's an ad ad right and i feel like this distinction is just so important because people might be manipulated into buying certain things or subscribing for certain things or certain services without actually knowing they're being sold those things right and that is very manipulative and deceptive and i feel like that should not be allowed so i will try to put up a few links or just on the screen i'll try to put up a few videos that do this like content creators who do this not definitely necessary to be smart wait what डायट <laughs> I mean, maybe some of them I don't like. <laughs> I won't mention who I like or don't like. This video is not about that. This video is about uh, just regardless of, you know, my personal preference in them, of them, uh, just my personal preference, like regardless of that, these content creators are just disguising brand messages or ads under their comedy skits usually and it just feels very deceptive and wrong and manipulative and i feel like there should be certain rules for this you know if you want to do a video and you're getting sponsored by someone dude mention it mention it in, like at any point in the video just like cut off the video and say hey by the way this is a word from our sponsor uh this is that and you should buy this it's actually really great i've tried it and hey this is an ad so it's like even though i'm saying i've tried it and it's my personal opinion still i am being paid to send this message across to you that way the person knows that they are being trying to be sold something they're trying to be marketed towards like people are marketing towards them right and so it's not so shady anymore 
and I don't know every time a content creator does this in their videos I instantly just leave the video because it, it just pisses me off it just makes me really really angry when they do this do you think I'm stupid do you think I don't know what you're doing it just people content creators need to be more responsible towards this and advertisers need to be more responsible too and I don't know there should be policies to really um, really control this and monitor this because it's scary you cannot sell something to a gullible consumer uh, under the disguise of content and you might say hey why are you being so triggered like it's it's fine like people do this kind of marketing all the time maybe you know but um, I just feel like it's kind of really shady and manipulative and if you want to sell something to me just do it I'm, I'm willing to listen through to a content creators uh, uh, you know uh, content creators uh, ad that they a sponsored ad that they a sponsor that they've been given and that someone sponsored them and they're trying to you know talk about their products like I'm willing to sit through that just make it very clear that you're doing that you know and you might make the point like how is this different from product placement in movies so like in certain movies you see um, products being placed like in front of the viewer or the characters are interacting with each other but then they're the or they're interacting with the products and uh, it's I mean you 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 get that message in your head like okay so this person is associated with this product or you see the product and you know it reaches a large number of audiences and you're more likely to likely to buy it etc etc how is it different so when you're watching a movie you are I mean it's just a fact now that it's a product placement and you know it but for content creators their content is way more personal movies don't feel as personal as content creator contents I mean as like YouTube or Facebook content and I just feel like a lot of people might not be able to tell which part is a skit and which part is actually an ad and I don't know like yeah Props to you for being creative about it and putting, you know, the ad in the middle of the whole content, like just very much disguised. But it just really, really turns me off, and I instantly stop watching the videos that do this, the content creators that do this. I just, I just, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. That's what <laughs> it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth, and um, I just. I don't appreciate it. I feel like I'm being, I, they're trying to man manipulate me and it just doesn't feel right. And I would much more prefer if someone, you know, just mentioned it at the beginning or at the end or in the middle of the video, like, hey, a word from our sponsor, da 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 da. And I would appreciate that more. And I think, hey, that's nice. This person is being sponsored. That's great. So, yeah, that's. That's about it for now. This video kind of turned into a rant at the end of it. Um, I guess I've been ranting a lot lately, but this, this is what I think about it. Um, yeah, uh, do uh, I hope I will make a few video movie commentaries I've been meaning to and my finals are done. So I am probably going to do that. And I am very, very excited to edit the videos and post them soon. Uh, hopefully I'll do that. Uh, so I'm I'm happy, you know, I'm happy like last year I had such a hard time even making one video uh, in one or two videos like the entire year but I've always wanted to do YouTube videos and now I'm just not really thinking about it too much and I'm just posting or putting out whatever content I'm making and it's making me happy and I guess that's why I do YouTube because it makes me happy and I just like talking about stuff and have, I don't know, <laughs> have one or two people listen and it's nice to uh, get, you know, feedback from you guys and yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm really excited about the movie commentaries and uh, so keep an eye out for those and hopefully I'll be able to finish and upload by this year, hopefully, <laughs> by this month or by ne the next few months. So yeah, um, until then, uh, I don't know, just stay home and stay safe, you know, there's COVID, so just try not to go outside, 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.